Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you some hidden tips and tricks for your iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max which are hidden away in sub menus but once you know these tips and tricks you will be surprised as to what your iPhones can do. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. First up, if you want control over the macro camera on your iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, what are you going to do? You are going to go into settings, then you will go into camera. Here in scroll down and enable this toggle for macro control. Once you do that, on the bottom left of your viewfinder, you are going to see the option to enable or disable the macro lens. By that, I mean you can make sure that the picture which you are taking is with the macro lens by using the toggle or the option on the bottom left of your viewfinder. And the second hidden tip and trick for your iPhones is that while we are in the camera settings, make sure you also enable this toggle of mirroring the front camera because once you do this and you take a picture your left hand will appear as the left hand in your photos app that is how the picture is going to be taken with this toggle turned off whenever you take a picture the left hand appears as the right hand and the right hand appears as the left hand in the actual picture which in my humble opinion is not how it should be Next up, do you know you can actually set a custom action for double tap on the back of your phone and similarly you can do it for a triple tap as well. Where do you find this? You're going to settings, accessibility, going to touch, scroll down, select back tap and bam here it is. You can set double tap to take a screenshot on your iPhone and similarly you can set triple tap for flashlight on the back of your iPhone and yes this does work pretty decently and pretty good enough on your iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro or for that matter any iPhone out there. Then while we are still talking about screenshots, let us say I take a screenshot, I get this preview on the bottom left, I press and hold on this. Eventually I'm going to get the option of sharing this screenshot so I can share it via messages, email or even airdrop it and I also have the option of renaming this screenshot in case I want to. Then the inbuilt editor of screenshot on your iPhone is pretty awesome as well. So let us say I take a screenshot, then I tap on this screenshot. This is going to bring up the screenshot editor on my iPhone. If I tap on this plus sign on the bottom right, I get the option of magnifier. Once you select it, a circle is going to show up. And as you can see, wherever I move the circle, that part is highlighted and magnified. Of course, you can resize this circle as well in case you want to. Now once you've magnified on a part of the screenshot, if you tap on the plus sign one more time and select opacity, you will get a slider at the bottom. And once you've gotten the slider, you can move it around and bam, as you can see, I am actually blurring out the background to make sure that the area which I magnified can be seen more clearly and it brings prominence to that specific area of the screenshot. Another pro tip over here is once you're done editing, adding any text to the screenshot, you tap on done on the top left. Now herein, the tip and trick which is of interest is copy and delete. So this has now copied the screenshot. I can paste it wherever I want to share it, but it has also deleted it. So it is no longer taking up storage on my iPhone. Then if you've ever wondered if you could take a scrolling screenshot or a long screenshot of a web page on your iPhone, yes, you can do that. All you have to do is go to Safari, open that specific web page, take a screenshot, tap on the screenshot on the bottom left, and you will get the option of screen or full page. Once you select full page, you can actually take a screenshot of the 
full page here it is i have now taken a screenshot of this whole apple.com page which in fact is a scrolling screenshot and once you tap on done on the top left you can save it as a pdf to your files application or you can say copy and delete and in this case even though the screenshot has been deleted you still have the big scrolling screenshot copied to your clipboard and you can share it with anybody who you want to then wouldn't it be cool if you get a notification or a subtle vibration whenever your device is unlocked with face unlock well that feature is actually present on your iphone all you have to do is go into settings accessibility and once you are in accessibility you have to go into face id and attention and bam here it is haptic on successful authentication once you enable this toggle every time face id unlocks your device for payments or just going to your home screen you are going to have a subtle vibration then let us say you are deep into sub menus so i am in settings then you are into accessibility then face id and attention and you have to go back either you tap multiple times or the better way to do it would be to press and hold on the back option and then you can decide where you want to go do you want to go into accessibility or do you want to go into settings and of course with phones getting bigger it is not always easy to reach the top left of your device if you're using it one handed what if i told you you had one handed mode available on your iphone all you need to do is go into settings once you are in settings you need to go into accessibility go into touch and here and enable reachability once you do that a little swipe down near your gesture bar at the bottom is going to enable one handed mode and to get out of it you have to tap anywhere on the part of the screen which is not actually part of the content as in it has shifted down so you do have a hidden one-handed mode available on your iPhone another neat tip and trick for your iPhone is to select multiple messages notes files by just two fingers so here it is these here are three notes which I have on my iPhone 12 mini I can swipe down with two fingers and select multiple items and similarly i can unselect them as well of course they are going to be in a sequence so yes another pretty nifty feature which is present on your iphone then have you ever wondered if you could have an automatic timer on your iphone wherein after a specific amount of time the music or your video stops playing how do you do that well it is pretty easy you go into the clock application you go into the timer option on the bottom right herein you select whatever time you want after which you want your music or video to stop playing and before you hit the start button all you need to do is select when timer ends scroll down and say stop playing then say set on the top right start your timer and you should be good to go another neat trick about the timer application is if you start it from your control center and you press and hold on it you can now set the duration as well you get this awesome looking bar over here and you can slide all the way to the top for two hours and all the way to the bottom for one hour then select start and bam there it is we are now in business also have you ever wanted to go to the top of a web page top of an application well all you need to do is tap near your battery bar and bam here it is we are on top of the application store you can do this with any app and we can try it in safari bam here it is working like a boss the next hidden tip and trick for your iphone is let us say you type in something pretty frequently and it is pretty long so it could be a phrase it could be your address it could be your email address and you want to create a keyboard shortcut for it you can actually do that all you need to do is go into settings general go into keyboard go into text replacement tap on the plus sign on the top right once you do that 
you can enter the phrase and then you can enter the shortcut as well now i have created three of those for myself so here it is i am in the notes application if i type in yt i can actually plug in the url of my youtube channel if i type in by i get the option of bounce yo and this of course is reference to breaking bad and of course i also have omw and i can plug in on my way another nifty feature which is present on the apple keyboard on your iphone is a trackpad you can actually turn it into a full-fledged trackpad how do you do that all you need to do is press and hold on the space once you do that bam here it is i have a full-fledged trackpad and i can actually go to a specific character as well i can move up i can move down so yep you do have an awesome trackpad on your iphones then if you want to move multiple icons from say one home screen to the other what do you do do you move them one by one by pressing and holding and then dragging them over to the next one what if i told you they were the faster way of doing this so you press and hold on the one which you want to move just one of them and then if you tap on any other icons they're going to be grouped together and bam here it is we just moved multiple icons from one home screen to the other and surprise surprise this trick also works in the photos app for images next up did you know that you could actually use your iphone as a level so how do you do that all you need to do is go into the measure application so we're going to search for the measure app and on the bottom you will see an option for level once i do this my iphone is now in level mode and i can place it on top of my monitor which i might be mounting to make sure that the monitor here is in a perfect straight line straight as an arrow have you ever been in a situation wherein you thought that hey what if i had a white noise machine the environment around me is too noisy i want some white noise so that i can sleep peacefully well you do have white noise feature on your iphone and all you have to do is go into settings accessibility once you are in accessibility you need to go into audio and visual here and go into background sounds enable this toggle and there it is you have different sound options so these are your sound options you can choose the volume do you want it when media is playing what is the volume you want when media is playing and you have a toggle to stop the sounds when it is locked and there it is this is how you can convert your iphone into a white noise machine now do you listen to loud music when your parents are not at home or you have your headphones or your airpods plugged in listening to loud music but you would still want to know if somebody rang the doorbell somebody is coughing besides you a baby is crying you can do that on your iphone all you need to do is go into settings then you will go into accessibility then you're going to scroll down go into sound recognition enable this toggle it is going to download some content if it does not show up the sounds option does not show up the first time enable and disable this option one more time and eventually you will have the option of sound here and you can enable or disable what sounds you want to recognize and yes you do have baby crying coughing shouting glass breaking a car honking at you animal sounds like cats and dogs emergency alarms like fire siren and smoke alarm so yes you do have a pretty awesome feature of sound detection on your iphone and for our last awesome hidden tip and trick for your iphone we are going to show you how you can lock one specific application on your device if you are to share your iphone with somebody 
so all you need to do is go back into settings once you are in settings we will again go into accessibility here in scroll down go into guided access and enable this you can set a specific passcode for guided access itself you can set time limits for applications and in case you want an accessibility shortcut you can do that as well and you also have the option of auto locking the display now how do you access this let us say i want somebody to be using only the twitter app on my phone once you open that application you have to press the side button three times and that is going to open the accessibility options and here and i'm going to choose guided access once i do that i have to say start on the top right and set up a passcode for guided access now once i have set up my passcode for guided access the other person can only access twitter that is it and once they are done with accessing this specific application to get out of guided access you again have to press the side button three times enter the pin which you have set up for guided access and then on the top left of the screen you select end and that is going to end the guided access mode on your iphone and of course you can do this for the youtube app as well if you have kids who watch videos on your iphones and there it is peeps those were all the awesome hidden tips and tricks for your iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max and of course you can use these tips and tricks on other iphones as well